We're effectively recording. So hey everybody, we're doing a workshop on Photoshop and uh, how we can cut up this sprite sheet. As you can see here, I have Mega Man, one of the favorite franchises out there. And what I'm going to do is right click on this guy and as soon as I do, I'll give an option to save image as. We're going to save it to the desktop because that's the easiest place to find it. And then we want to go into Photoshop. Okay, so I've been playing with Unity a little bit. Let's get rid of that. All right, so on your desktop, you should be able to find your sprite sheet that you just downloaded, unless it went somewhere else. There it is. Hey, pops up in preview pretty easy. Let's open it up with Photoshop CS6. Now, if you don't have CS6, I advise everybody in here to send me the name of your computer so we can fix that. But otherwise, let's go ahead and go through this. So first thing you want to do is take out the background layer. Now to do that, on the left side here you have a bunch of tools that you can use. The main one we're going to be looking for is here with the erasers. You can use the eraser tool if you want to. Background eraser tool is even nicer because it leaves a, a transparent layer. I'm going to use the magic eraser tool. And what that does is you click on it and everything's gone! It's awesome. It makes things a lot easier for you. And uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit to make sure we got everything we needed. And it looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing you probably need to go, do is go in and maybe clean up a little bit. Like right here we have this guy and it looks like he's got a little bit of a diaper happening. So we're going to go get rid of that. Whoops, we took away more than we wanted to. Um, one thing about the eraser tool is, it's the, especially the background eraser tool, you see that little starburst on there? That's not actually where you're erasing, it's actually where the tip of the eraser is. So you want to, if you're going to go in and do any cleanup or anything like that, Make sure you're using the tip of the eraser and not the little starburst, and that'll make a little bit of a difference. Uh, right here we have a little bit too. There we go. And looks like maybe we got a little bit here. Now I'm not necessarily going to need to have him jumping or anything like that, so I'm just going to cut out the, the running for, at this time. And to do that, we're going to use the slice tool. Okay, so slice tool's up here. It's right next to crop. Uh, slice tools right here. You also have slice select tool. We don't really need that for what we're doing. So just choose the slice tool. And what you're going to do is I need to find the spot where it looks like he's running, which looks like it's kind of all over the place. All right, here's him standing still. This is probably his idle animation. And this looks like more of his running animation right here. Okay, so what I want to do is try and get the top. Try and find the one where he's standing the tallest. So we want to get an idle. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Once you make the box around him, you're going to get some options to kind of spread this out a little bit if you need to, or firm it up, maybe get a little closer to him. And you want this to be as close as possible to the bottom of the character's feet and the top of their head. The reason for that being, if you don't get all the way to the bottom of their feet, they're going to look like they're floating, and it's, it may also ruin some of the things you're looking for as far as uh, collision detection and everything because it's looking for the edge of the box okay so try and be careful as you go through this and try and draw the same box over and over again see now this isn't going to work already because once he starts running this box is obviously a lot bigger than the one above it right so I should have started with this one and then built this one out I can't go back to this one now okay now if I wanted to I could do the uh, undo edit kind of thing which I'm going to I'm going to go back in here. Now that I feel like this is probably going to be one of the larger ones, I'm going to go back and do this. And now I have a little bit of a model to build from here. So now I know I'm at least going to be this big. And it looks like he's going to be a little bit off the ground with his, with his run. So in this case, it's not so bad. However, when it looks like he should have both feet on the ground, you want to make sure that's there. Now since his stance is really wide, one thing that's going to be a bit of a problem is that you're probably going to see a little bit of shift in how he looks. That's just something to think about as you guys are building these guys. Now you want to, you may want to cut out the entire thing. That's okay if you want to. You see I only cut out parts of it. And this is the big part you're going to need to pay attention to as far as how to save out all these pictures. So I've got a few things sliced here. Like I said, you guys can slice everything out if you want to. Then go up to File. Go to Save for Web and Devices. And here's the parts you want to pay attention to, right here. Okay, so we're going to select the different pieces. Now, see how they're coming up in this little brown box? To do that, you hold down Shift, and you click on all the boxes that you want to select. If you don't do that, 
Then it's going to select everything on the sheets and it's going to slice everything up and you're going to get a lot more than what you wanted and probably a lot of stuff you don't need. Uh, the next thing you check is PNG 24. You could also use PNG 8 if you really want to, but the main thing is make sure and use PNG, which stands for Portable Network Graphic. Okay. Now that you're here on this page, uh, it's going to save it as Mega Man 7. I'm just going to change it to Mega Man. It's looking for format images only, setting as default settings, and slices. Currently is all slices. I want it to just use the ones I selected. That's another part you really need to pay attention to is selecting those slices. Once I hit save, it's going to make a little image file on my desktop. See this right here? This is my image file. It's got all the things I just cut out. Okay? Easy enough. Now I'm going to go into my uh, little testing ground that I made last time we showed you guys some stuff. Uh, called it example. I'm going to go into my scene here and I'm going to add this guy in on my actor. Okay? So to pull all the images in, some of you guys have already done this before and that makes things a lot easier. But I want to get all these images. I actually don't need that last one so I'm going to get here to here, drag those in. And now we've got all the images we need. Now I'm not going to go in depth with the animation right now. I wanted to mostly focus on Photoshop, but let me show you how we drop these guys in. So if we're going to move to the right, this guy's running to the right. We need him to run, so I'm going to copy all these. These guys are facing to the right, and as soon as I drop them in, it knows, hey, multiple images. This must be some kind of animation. So it puts in the animate behavior. Everything's pretty easy. You may need to play with the 10 frames per second a little bit. You might want to drop it down to 8 or 5 or something like that. It just depends on how fast you want the character to move. And so it all matches up. I'm also going to pull this guy in here so I can make sure that uh, now he looks like Mega Man when he's running around. Now he looks a little strange, right? And only when I press to the right does he actually move with the animation, right? So there are some changes to make. There are some things that we probably want to uh, fix. So like right now, I had him as blue. I'll bring the white balance back. Let's change his size. He's 100 by 100. Nah, forget that. We want it to be like 150, and then down here we'll do, eh, that's not too bad. We'll try that out. We want it to be a lot taller. I'll do 200. Okay, that looks kind of normal. Little better, not awesome, not awesome, okay? But it does look a little bit more like the Mega Man we're used to, okay? Looks a little bit like he's got a little bit of a limp, but that's our animation right there, okay? Now I have another... Uh, workshop on animating, putting in animated features, but for Photoshop and dropping in your stuff, that's pretty much it. Alright, thanks very much, glad you guys listened, and we're going to shut this sucker down. There we go, that's a screen recording, and Dakota has a question. Huh? Okay, what? What? Uh, okay, so got, let me uh, finish this up and I can show you.